It was on January 23rd in 2004 that you and I earned the right to wave our own national flag because of the fight of one man, Naveen Jindal, for a decade. And that's exactly the ideology that this entire institute is based on. You're watching Shining B Schools of India. My name is Faris Tomer. Today, I'm at the Jindal Global Business School, which is part of the OP Jindal Global University. Let's go see what this campus has to offer. <laughs> The Jindal Global Business School was set up in 2010 under the aegis of the OP Jindal Global University. OP Jindal Global University was envisaged to be a multidisciplinary research intensive university with four disciplines. The Law School, the Business School, the School of International Affairs and a School of Government and Public Policy. Within this context, the Jindal Global Business School is attempting to address an important issue which connects the study of business, economy and society. And in that process, creates an environment where the future business leaders can emerge out of this business school. Located in Sonipat, just outside New Delhi, the university's campus was designed keeping the needs of the modern student in mind. The facilities include modern classrooms, auditoriums, well-equipped library, a fully residential campus and playgrounds. The Jindal Global Business School aims to impart global business education through courses such as five-year integrated BBA MBA degree program, two-year full-time MBA degree program and corporate MBA degree program. Globalization may be the buzzword at the Jindal Global Business School, but the ethos is very Indian. What's amazing that all that you see was built in seven months flat. I'd now like you to meet Dr. Sanjeev Sani, who is one of the members of the governing body. Hello, sir. Hello, how are you? Very good, thank you. One of the most interesting things besides, of course, the facade is the fact that you've got a global faculty. So what exactly does that term mean? I tell you, this is a wonderful concept we have, that the global faculty, we get people from abroad, not only the non-resident Indians, the foreigners, they love to come here. They even take a sabbatical. They are love to join us full-time faculty, and they come here and teach not only for teaching but they're very happy to do uh, research here because there's a very good avenue of doing research and especially we would like to do a lot of collaboration with industry and academia and that's what we are working on so speaking of industry interesting you should mention that you also make your students extremely industry ready is that it exactly. so what does what is from start to finish that process like let me tell you this is probably is one of the best schools we have in business school where we are providing a full hands-on training to become a manager in an industry. Our students, when they pass out uh, in two years time, they are ready to be a manager in any industry. So what we do is, we not only teach them theoretical concepts, we try to get people from the industry who come and conduct various workshops over here. They come here, they, they stay here, they train them, they train them onto the situations rather than onto the case study sometimes. And what happens, how to deal with certain situations. And believe me, our students, when they go to the industry and they can take over the job straight away. It is fantastic. So while I've been here, I've been picking up some very interesting intellectual sounding terms, which makes me look a lot smarter, etc. One of those terms has been global access. Um, what exactly is it? See, the global access, what we mean is they are the, the global, the entire world is open to our students. We have a lot many collaborations and these collaborations are not only papers, these collaborations in terms of people are visiting abroad, people are coming here, whether it's a student exchange program, whether it's a faculty exchange program, whether it's a professor is coming from a different uh, school uh, from abroad and is teaching both people at the, uh, the school abroad and the, in the school over here. And uh, people are going for internships abroad. People are not in terms of internship, they are going to, to train themselves, rather they are going and working over there. So they are getting a complete exposure onto the global environment. Which is fantastic. And the exposure begins right here, right now, which is the incredible part. Thank you, Dr. Sani. Thank you. It's Thank time you for you to go meet some other colleagues of Dr. Sani, some other faculty members who will tell you about various facets of this place. Business school has strong research strengths. 
uh, through faculty uh, publication in national and international journals. The research culture is being fostered through grants and awards and international collaborations, both for faculty as well as students. We have a journal uh, which is being published by SAGE and it has attracted uh, contributions from uh, uh, authors of international repute. We have many research centers which are right now in nascent stage, uh, which we hope will have an impact on research activity in future. As part of our multidisciplinary curriculum, students from business schools can take courses in the other schools of the university and there are provisions wherein faculty from the other schools could teach at business school. One of the words I've been hearing a lot on campus is the word global. But the question is, what is it that makes the Jindal Global Business School global? For us, it's global because JDBS has traveled with several universities around the world. That helps us expand our horizons globally. That's right, Paras. I was also a part of the Global Exchange Program with Middlesex University at Dubai. I got an opportunity to learn a lot about the cross-cultural management in Dubai. And I think that adds to the global budget. And I also got opportunity to do internship with FRS Global Financial Services Dubai. There I analyzed Basel III status in Middle East and African countries. Thus, all this added to my global batching. Alright, so that's why it's global. Paris, here's more. Helping students gain hands-on experience is a priority to the school. I was given an opportunity last year to intern in Vilnius, Lithuania. This global exposure to a new culture and country helped me gain a lot of practical knowledge. They call it soft skills. It's like swimming, you learn it only by going into the water. What makes us truly global is our global faculty and the global curriculum that has been designed exceptionally for us, per se. The faculty we have comes from the world's best universities, IIMs, IITs, Harvard, Purdue, London School of Economics, to name just a few. The curriculum that we have here is simply comparable to the best five universities around the world. Global, global, global. I did my internship with PepsiCo where I learned about the global best practices followed by MNCs. I was also able to relate that understanding to the curriculum taught at JGBS. Paris, is that global enough? Okay, I get it. Global. JGBS curriculum is not limited to only business management. Here, we can choose courses from the law school, from the government and public policy school and school of international affairs. I have opted courses from the law school and the school of international affairs. Now do you get it for us? Yes, you guys are a business school. No, we are a global business school. I know guys, I'm just kidding. They are a global business school and a brilliant one at that. They've got some fantastic places that you must go and check out. This business school is all about having the right talent pool. And finding out who's number one. This place is all about giving the right weight to academics and fitness. Because with a healthy body comes a healthy mind. It's important to keep your eye on the goal. And also to be level-headed. In business school, we learn competencies like leadership mixed with team spirit. And on the basketball court, they learn to shoot straight and aim high. Oh, it's okay. I tried. Bye-bye, guys. <laughs>